Flim 4 Authentication Lesson 27 Flashing Success Messages to the Front End. So you may have noticed whenever we register or log in successfully, or even when we reset our password especially, we're not giving the user any confirmation that they filled out the form successfully, that you know everything went well. You know, that's, that's the best thing to hear whenever you're working with computers is, hey, it worked, it all worked. So in this lesson, we're gonna set up the uh, ability to flash success messages to the front end. And it's gonna be pretty straightforward. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to our console and we're gonna run npm run watch. Now while that's booting up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do vue.component and then we're gonna say flash success and then we're just gonna say import flash success from components flash success just like that and la la and we're actually going to make this a .js file so we can use an inline view template okay so while that is getting booted up what we're going to do is we're going to go to js components add a new flash directory and we're going to add a new flash .js file after that, we're going to say export default name is going to be flash success. And then we're going to create a some data. And that data is just going to return an object where we'll say flash is true. And then we're going to hook into the created lifecycle hook view offers. We're going to say window dot set timeout. And then because it's on the window, we can actually get rid of the window part will automatically know we're talking about the window. We can say set timeout, and then we're gonna say this dot flash equals false, but wait for 5,000 milliseconds before setting flash to false. Okay, so now if we go back to main, we do flash success from components flash success, Flash. I'm going to refactor that to success.js. And we're going to say vue.component flash success. And we're going to say flash success. Just like that. Okay. So now we have a global template that we can use in line. So here's what we're going to do we're going to go to our views. We're going to go to our sections. We're going to create a new directory. We're going to call this flash. And then we're going to say messages dot blade dot php and then we're going to move airs into flash and then we're going to add a new file that we're going to call success dot blade dot php within messages dot blade dot php we're going to include sections dot flash dot airs and then we're going to include sections dot flash dot success just like that then within our errors.blade.php we're going to copy this over and we're going to simply say okay first if there are no session flash errors and session flash has success after that we're going to change background red to, oh, no, there we go. Sorry, PHP storm, red volleyball of death. We're gonna change background red to background green. And then we are going to wrap all of this. And we'll actually go under this, but we're gonna say flash success. We call that an inline template. And yeah, we will wrap all of this. We're gonna go right up here. And then we're gonna go right down there. So then we're simply going to say V if, and then flashing. So this is a view VF directive, a JavaScript VF directive. So PHP, we're checking if we can even render our flash success view template. If we don't, ha if we have errors, or there is no success message to flash. We never even render our view template. 
if we do render our blade template or our view template, my bad, then what happens is we simply say, okay, flashing by default, we are going to flash the message. Whenever the view instance is created, we're going to say set a timeout and then this will automatically no longer flash. We're going to not flash anymore after 5,000 milliseconds or 5,000 seconds. We're actually going to change that from created to mounted. The difference between created and mounted in Vue is created is when the JavaScript object is created, mounted is when the JavaScript object for Vue is created, and then it generates the template and we mount the template to the HTML DOM. So we want to set that five second timer after the user can see something. So we're going to change it from created to mounted. All right. So now that that is set up, we're going to go back to messages success all right and then we're going to say background with full but we want to do something a little different we want to do uh ba, 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 justify end we're going to say item center so flex justify end item center with full and then we also want to say we're going to wrap this in a div. We're going to say style equals position fixed right zero and then bottom zero. And then if my PHP storm will finish loading and then we want to say width is going to be auto. So we'll just inline template because we don't have any plans on touching this anytime soon have that set up. Okay, so if there are no error messages to flash and we have success messages to flash, we'll show a green success at the bottom. The last thing we need to do is we need to change this alert to, I believe it's check circle icon. Yeah, um, and then we should be good to go. So we'll see if that works, but to actually get that working, we need to remove from all of our forms, this sections errors thing and remove it from every single form. No longer need to include section errors. Get rid of it everywhere. And then what we can do is we can go to our layout app which is going to be resources, layouts, app, right above content, we're going to include sections, and then we're going to say sections.flash.messages. So we'll just include all of our flash messages right there. Then we're going to open up a new terminal. We're going to say composer dump auto load. Before we dump the auto load, we want to clear our views. So slim view clear and composer dump auto load. All right, so then after that, what we need to do is we need to go to our HTTP requests. And for all of our requests, we first want to go to the form request. And we want to say after validation passes. So this is the root form request. We want to do session flash set success as success. So we're just flashing a general success message. We're gonna copy this right here, and then we're going to go and see for every method where we override after validation passes, we just need to add it there. So we're gonna go right there, right here. And then after validation passes, we can just remove all of these, maybe I should get rid of those um, when it comes to the scaffold stubs. And then update reset password, get rid of all these methods we are not using, just a part of the stub, and la la. Okay, 
then with any luck, we should be able to reload our page. So we'll go to auth login. With any luck, we should be able to log in and I'm gonna do a hard reload just to make sure Vue reloads. All right, now we're gonna do Zach at cleancode.studio and then we'll just do secret. Home dashboard. All right, so it looks like that did not quite work how we wanted. So we do have flash success. So let's do this, let's go true. Just like that, okay. So I got my CSS a little off. So let's inspect that CSS. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do width, and we're gonna just do 100%. Just like that. Um, then, whoop. With 100%, bottom zero, right zero, position fixed. Um, justify end item center with full. Open this up. So what we wanna find is where we're doing our flash messages, okay. Let's do this. It looks like we're not passing any of our flash messages to the front end. So we're gonna edit this as HTML. And we're gonna do UL, UL, LI, success. See if that actually does its thing. Click out of that, success, okay. So, now if we get rid of this, so we do need to add that width 100, okay. So here's what we need to do. So we need to go back to our resources, views, sections, flash, messages, success. And that's why we're looping through our errors on our success page. So we need to do success as message, uh, check circle icon, and then on our errors, alert circle, check circle, that is correct. And then right here, we'll just do width, and then we'll do 100%. Just like that, save that, and then we're going to reload our page. And let's make sure our NPM is actually up and running. Okay. So now if we log back out, there we go. So now let's do this. Hard reload, no longer have success. Now let's do Zach at horn at cleancode.studio. I believe that's actually just Zach. We're gonna do secret and log in. Success, there we go. Now, with any luck, hey, there it goes, and it disappeared by itself. So if we set this to true, it will come back, but because we had a simple component in Vue that just says, hey, whenever we mount this, give it five seconds and then set the flash to false. So now we successfully have flash messages. If you ever want to configure the flash messages in any specific way, you can just hook into this after validation passes and you can say success, uh, welcome, welcome back, you know. And this is the store login request. So right after the user logs in, we can say success, welcome back. Um, and you can just customize them right after the validation passes we can confirm how it passed or why it passed by simply setting the uh, success flash key as an array of success messages. So that is all I got today, guys. That is how you flash success messages to the user on the front end. Separate.